Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Well, don't get too excited. I'm tired, man. <laughs> Here's the thing, I went to bed. Are your defenses low? At 6 a.m. Why would you do this? Got up yeah. at 9.30 to sure. roll out of bed and drive to the meeting. But this is a hell of a story. Even better with a glass full of whiskey. Yeah, I'm just, I'm moving slowly today. We've got two whiskeys. Yes. Gifts from Titan of Whiskey, Brad LeClaire. Brad LeClaire, you Titan of Whiskey. Oh, bom, bom, bom. Yes. Then, and then we yeah. have patron saint of whiskey, Teresa Smith. Teresa Smith, you patron saint of whiskey. It's a good ring out of Which it. is? Which one do you want to start with? Do you want the Titans whiskey? Or do you want... It's the same distillery, which is why I'm putting oh. these up at the same time. Oh, same distillery. Do you want the Titans whiskey? Or do you want the Canadian Smith? I'm going to be strategic about this. Whatever is the lower proof. You ended up with the Titan. Okay. So this is... Because this is a cask strength release. And this is a 50% alcohol... 100 proof, Shelter Point Distillery, double barreled single malt whiskey. That's right, so French oak, they put it uh, and started in bourbon, I'm assuming, American oak, then moved to French oak barrel, so it's gonna have a little bit of spice. Yep. It's open because Brad opened it while he was here and we got to try it. What the hell, Brad? And I'm going to start with, I, I love like, these quirks. I know they're like glass. Yeah. So They just lock into place. This is the same type of glass, where it looks similar to the same type of glass as the bottle. And then the it has a clear. Oh my gosh! No, even the inside is that's glass, glass too. And it's then it has, only got the rubber edge to seal it. It's got a rubber gasket around the side of that. Man, that is cool. Okay, we're gonna do competing reviews. Oh, that is super cool. So uh, this is a Vancouver, British Columbia distillery. Yeah, it's like you could almost. It's one of the last. You almost like want to look through it. It's one of the last remaining seaside farms. Yeah. Where they're doing uh, all of their own malt, uh, grain growing, and all of their own stuff, making their own whiskeys. Uh -huh. uh, Oyster River, BC, halfway up the eastern coast of Vancouver Island. Um, I mean, the saltiness. Oh man, and I'm getting, I am getting like a salty salt peanuts. Salty peanuts. I'm getting salty. You're getting a different whiskey, right? So remember that. Oh, this is different whiskey. Different whiskeys. These are, We're so doing competing reviews. They both go into So, And by territory. the way, you're drinking the double barrel, the French oak. I'm right. drinking just their classic malt, but cask strength. I'm getting like a salted dark fruit. I'm on getting the nose. On the nose. Salted peanuts. Okay. Like bar peanuts, crack them, throw right. a shell. Now see if you can find my dark fruit. I'll see if I can find your peanuts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's definitely there. Fruit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's got 100%. that salt. Let's get that salt. Yeah, absolutely, it does. That's bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Are oh, you want to take your first sip on your original? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of fun. I like this. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Dark fruits show up in spades. This one, the 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 slight salt brine mixed with all of the honey and malty mm -hmm. round barley notes yeah. is a dude. This is a this Shockingly well balanced malt, single malt, double barreled. What did it mean by the double barreled? Well, it starts probably in American bourbon oak, and then it moved to French oak finish. Okay. French oak finish. And where were they based out of? Is this a Canadian? Oh, no, don't make I me said listen. This all out loud. I don't make me listen. I'm asking. This is Vancouver Island. Ah, oh, the Vancouver. It's a coastal farm. I've been to Vancouver. Think of it like the Isla of Canada. <laughs> it's on its own little island over there. All right, try so, this one. Try this so one. This is like an exceptional Canadian whiskey. Try I, this might be one of my. This is up there with Glenora. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Cape Breton whiskeys. Yeah. Man, I don't know what that French oak held before. Wow. But that's damn magnificent. Yeah, I like mine. A little bit better. Me too. But this is super good. No, this is a good starting point. Daniel's, and I think it's a really great whiskey. Yours was just, just cast strength malt. Artisanal cast strength malt. Mine yeah. double barreled, whatever the hell, with the uh, French oak finish. The dark fruits that come out of this thing, that saltiness. Man, I love. You know what? I this love is, the lo I love the label. This is like uh, I like the whiskey. This is reminding me of like a rich Highland. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're drinking a coastal Highland whiskey, like yeah. an Oban. Man, or Damn, Canada, bringing the heat. That's amazing. You know, I hesitate to give 
make Vancouver feel any more proud than it already is about being Vancouver. It's a beautiful place. But it is amazing. I've been to Vancouver, so I was in Vancouver. And it's really good whiskey. I was in Vancouver probably about, uh, about 14 years ago. And I was with uh, my wife, or soon to be my oh, wife. So good. And there's two places that we feel like if we were ever going to get old and retire someday after the kids are out of the house, yeah. two places. Uh, one is Vancouver. Absolutely. Blah. And then the it's very other. Expensive, though. The other um, was in Australia. I believe it's called. Really? I've never been to Australia. Cook Island. Cook Island. Cook Island in Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cook Island. And then there's like you know Sydney and Townsville. We wanted to see just like quintessential, quintessential average, Classic, yeah. average Normal. town Australia, and uh, Townsville is another place we went to. So but yeah. I wouldn't compare these, if you want to know what these taste like, and you can't get them, which is highly likely. Yeah. I was going to compare these to another Canadian whiskey, but what I should have done was compare it to another malt oh, from yeah. Scotland. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Because you, you, you can't have, compare this to Canadian rye. You will have so many more apt comparisons if you get to Scotland. Though. So let's and, find a sherry cask blended Scotch. And you know what? That hap That's happened enough times for... Uh, Canadian, some Canadian distilleries have better comparisons to Scottish whiskeys than other Canadian distilleries. Uh, so here's the thing: Canadian whiskey, it's so friendly, and the the ever present meme is, is like Canada's so friendly. Their whiskey apologizes if you hold it up to your ear. Yeah. But some of them, dude, they can really take a lot of other North American distilleries to task just for like the sheer. Um, maturity and richness of the flavors that are coming out of the bottle there. I, I am struggling to think of another American distillery that has this much of a Highland mojo going on. This is closer to Highland than I think I've ever had anything outside of actual Highland. Smell that. What is this? Okay. It's nice. Was this the... I was looking for the direction of this, but this isn't quite there. No, no. It's close though. It's Man, this uh, I'm, here's, uh, can I say Glendronic? Can I is that a thing I can say? No, it's too sherry. Glendronic is way sherried. No. This is subtly sherried. Was it was there, oh, well, But yes, Glendronic is a sherried cask space. No, I'm just the sherry come out the dark the dark fruitiness is what we're talking about. That specific flavor of dark fruity notes. Taste that again. I I taste it I haven't for tasted. the first time. Oh, it's beautiful. What is that? That's the new red spot. Oh, okay. But it's headed a similar direction. It's getting there. There's more dark fruit in the Canadian. Yeah, it is Shelter... actually closer to the McAllen and the Glendronic and the Avalor. Shelter Point Distillery out of Vancouver. Damn, y'all. Bring it. That's impressive. Super good. J King Head. <laughs> did, did you not read the name? I, no, I thought you'd appreciate that. Didn't you? Drank a whole bottle of Johnny Walker Black tonight. It's a small bottle. Yeah, yeah, so he posted a photo. Drink a whole bottle of Johnny Walker. It was one of those tasting 50 mil bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, you know, I thought, this is the drinking post version of a dad joke. Oh, bad. It's like a pun. No. It's a dad joke. Uh, drink a whole bottle, mini bottle. Yeah, it's kinda, That's a dad joke. It's kind of like a little, little bit of a bait and switch of like a bro joke. No. Hey, bro, drink a whole bottle. That's a dad well, joke. Was... Who agrees with me that saying I drink a whole bottle and posting a mini taster bottle here's is the, a dad joke? Here's the issue. You know my position on dad jokes. It's lazy. It's lazy. It's horrible. It's like you can't think of a damn joke on your own. I'm going to dust off this pile of hot garbage and post it for like the hundred thousandth time this hour nope. just so somebody can be humorous. Nope. It's bullshit. It's horrible. I hate that. And the issue is, here's the issue, because it's so much recycled. Hang, hang on a second. It's so much. Hang on. It's so much cringy, cringy, bad recycled crap humor. Hang that on. actual good fresh memes. The fresh memes. Oh. Those are harder to come by. Okay. Those, you know, that's like artisanal humor. That's like small batch humor. Oh. That's handcrafted humor. And then you just get inundated with this wall of dad joke. Hot Wait, did, garbage. Did you just say small batch humor? Yes. <laughs> it's small batch humor. And then the market's flooded with this bullshit, watered down, low. Crown loyal humor? Crown. <laughs> clown loyal humor. Clown loyal humor. We both got rants in today. You good? Oh, are you done? No, no, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. All right, cool. <sighs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight me, I fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, 
may you drink, drink with us. us. Unless you do a freaking dad joke, what the hell's wrong with you? Why would you post a It's not hard. Just think of something silly. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.